The swimsuit issue for us is the biggest selling issue. <laughs> David, this issue literally doubles our newsstand sales. I think David Nisi is really one of the best swimsuit photographers out there in the country. Right there, now look, chin up into the light. He motivates the models, demands nothing but perfection from them, and they give him their best. Like a fish. <laughs> Believe me, it's worth it. David Nisi, eight beautiful models. All right. On the big island of Hawaii. It'll be tremendous. Biggest issue ever. The cover is the prize. There's no question about it. I think it's what every model shoots for. Are you kidding? We all want the cover. Gorgeous. Oh, that's nice. I would be so excited. I would be really, really happy. All I can do is hope. I would be like, you know, that's the ultimate. Very nice. Very nice. There. Oh, look at me, please. Beautiful. Excellent. Say my look is more exotic, definitely more exotic. She's hot. I mean, I can't say enough about the just the internal sexiness that that girl possesses. Dark sensuality, dark hair. She has got a great little swimsuit figure and a great little pixie-ish kind of attitude about her, yet smolders. A lot of times, it's funny, men will say, you know, you must hear this all the time, or I'm sure you heard this a bunch of times today, and, and it's not true. I mean, I don't get compliments as, as much as some people think that I do. Uh, oh, that looks so good. You look great. You look really nice. Well, I was really excited when I got chosen to come on this sports shoot, and I had no idea of where we would be staying. And when I got here, I was so excited because there's so many great places in this hotel. And coming here has been such a pleasure because I went in the salt pool, you know, I snorkeled, I walked on the beach, I listened to the birds, it's quiet, it's sunny, it's incredible. So I've completely utilized all the little things that this hotel has. And for me, it's been like, just super relaxing. Oh my gosh, and that's when the sun was so beautiful. The first day when, when we arrived, Shannon and I had a little bit of downtime, so we went out and climbed into one of those hammocks, and um, we each took half, and we sat in there, and we swang for about an hour and talked and, and really got to know each other, and it was just super nice. I love shooting on the beach, and then we're going to do a lot of water stuff, so for me, my hair works really well when it's wet and in the water, and then we don't really have to fuss with it as much. <laughs> when I have her laying on the sand, on her tummy, show the curve of her back, her behind, and her legs. It's going to be great. And then the smooth sand, the water, you know, rushing up over her and all that kind of stuff. It'll be nice. I get those visions of from here to eternity, you know, and through my head. It's a childhood fantasy. This particular shot that David has set up, it's my favorite kind of light. I like to refer to it as the sweet light. It's that golden sunset light, and it's my favorite. It's the best for my skin, because it gives you that nice, like, bronzy kind of look, and it's really soft. Okay. Go completely down on your tummy. Turn profile, though. This way, about 45. Whoa, 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 right there. Oh. Right there, looking down, looking down. That's nice. Well, oh, hold on, hold on. We got a cloud or something. We got one cloud. Look at this. One freaking cloud in the whole sky and it's right there. I'm serious, look at this in the sky, it's amazing. What? It's a cloud about the size of somebody's pocket. It's Murphy's cloud is here. Different photographers, I mean, absolutely have totally different styles, but some photographers just don't give you any input. They kind of just let it go and don't talk to you and don't let you know what, what they want you to do. Bring your bottom this way a little bit. There, go flat. 
David really communicates with us down to like our fingers, our feet, the angle of the head. Tilt way over for me. Nice. Can you go flat? A little more turn toward me, right there. Come up. Excellent. Excellent move. And when we're doing something that he likes, he'll let us go with it, which is kind of nice too, because it enables us to be a little bit creative on our own. Now look at me from there. Tilt your face. Wait. There. Oh, look at me, please. Nice. If I'm doing something that he likes, he's like, oh yeah, that's great. That looks beautiful. Yeah. And, and, and he lets me know that he loves it, which gives me that little bit of energy to kind of keep it flowing. One more series on your back for me, then we'll, we'll do it. Looks like it calmed down a little. Shouldn't say that. Tell me when. <laughs> okay. Stretch it out. Upper body toward me. Excellent. L lower body, left leg, right leg stretched out. It's coming, but just let it go over you. Turn, turn toward me. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh? It's getting, that was good. Let's do nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, right. It was just one of those shots that once it starts rolling, you just can't get enough of it until you just like, you know that she's exhausted. I just kept putting film in, and every time, I mean, she'd just lay down, it'd be like there. And usually you only get that one, you know, you get that one moment and it's like, boom, you got it, and you feel good about it, but boy, every time she'd lay back down, the hair would fall, it was there again. Don't move the hair on your face, though. Let's go up the beach a little bit more. <laughs> like a fish. <laughs> Believe me, it's worth it. It's like taking a, a, a washcloth and just wringing it out. And I had it going, it was full of water, she was full of energy, and I just kept ringing and ringing, and you saw at the end, she was pretty much uh, zapped. I can't hear anything because my, my oh, ears are I'm totally sorry. underwater. I'm sorry. It was tough because the waves were rushing up and kind of trying to pull me back and I'm trying to stay up on the sand and keep my back arch and keep my upper body turned towards him. Yeah, it was a little tough, but I think it'll be worth it. The light was really pretty and this um, sand's kind of gold and, and uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of black in the sand over here, so it really worked well with the bathing suit. With Brooke, um, we had our, our girl for the T-back swimsuits, I can tell you that. We shot a lot of things that, that uh, accented that asset, and no pun intended, and we just we went with that and let her just be her little sexy self. I had a lot of fun. I think getting the cover of this issue would be the ultimate, you know, that would be the ultimate shot. But to get the cover, I mean, to be able to see myself on the cover of a magazine out there on the stands, to me, would be like, you know, that's the ultimate. Of course I want the cover. Are you kidding? We all want the cover. Well, since I shot most of it horizontal, it might be tough to make a cover out of it. Although, you know, when she was sitting up and just like wringing her hair out, I was shooting that kind of stuff. Very nice. I mean, some of those could have been a cover potential. Right there, like that. Right there, hold it. Open the elbow. I think I concentrate a lot on trying to bring out some kind of feeling from inside into a photograph. For me, I think that's what makes a great picture. Some kind of a feeling that you can bring out from inside of you to give somebody else. All right, looks great. It's worth it. Categorize my look as being more um, young and more fresh and clean, romantic, cheerful and happy. Because I'm younger. There, little lift to the shoulder, little smile. Yeah, right there. Nice. Her natural curly blonde hair, the the softness in her face, the innocence in her face, great great eyes, great lips, and just a nice sweetness there. I need you to. Fold over on your left hip a little bit and sweep your legs toward the waterfall edge. We took Christine up to the KPC pools, which is about a 30-foot uh, waterfall that falls into the main pool here at the hotel. And we actually had her free-floating 
in the water right at the edge. It had a sense of danger to it that I think made it a very exciting picture. Stay like that. Are you relaxed? Is it OK? Yeah. You look great. I didn't realize really how high up I was till it was all over. To find out I was 40 feet up on top of this big rock of a waterfall. No baby is going to be just out of frame. And you're just going to float right there. I explained it to Christine. I want you to know that we're going to put you at, the, at, at, this, at this ledge. But at the same time, you're going to be floating in the water. And there's going to be a little lip that you're going to put your feet against. It's not going to allow you to go over the ledge. All ready? She did it. She did her job. She was out there. She looked great. Um, she kept her concentration. Never once asked if she was getting close to the edge. She just concentrated and, and looked right back into the camera at me and, and did a great job. Oh, is it? You comfortable? Hey, wait a minute. None of that stuff. Okay, don't fall It was a little dangerous, but that's okay. I mean, I'm still young. <laughs> nice. Hand to the hair. If I got the cover, I would be, emotionally, I would be so excited. I mean, to get that magazine and see myself on the cover. Let your mouth just relax open? Good, right there. I'd be speechless. I'd probably be running around the house and screaming and hollering, and all my family would be so excited, too. Most of my relatives are in Texas. So if I got the cover, boy, probably all of Texas would explode. When we were doing the casting and she came in, uh, everybody looked at her and just went, oh my God, look at this, this, this beautiful face, um, but a great swimsuit body as well. She was the perfect mermaid. There was no doubt in my mind when we saw her at the casting, she was the mermaid. I'm gonna be the mermaid. I woke up around five o'clock. This is called diffusing. Took a shower and went down to Michelle to get my makeup done. Isn't this glamorous having your eyebrows been plucked? Like 10 million people are going to see this. She did my makeup very natural, very fresh and clean, like what a mermaid would be. The transformation your begins. When I first saw the costume, it made me really excited. I couldn't believe I was going to be able to wear this. I mean, probably not every day you get to wear a big fin on your feet. This is how much too big it is for her. We're losing her in the skirt, so we're going to have to pin it and sew it. I'd like to start getting this thing cranked up around seven. She looks like she's almost ready, so... Um... Ten minutes away? Yeah. Look at her. Oh, Man. she looks great. Christine! Gurgle, gurgle. I said, God, you look just like a mermaid. I mean, you're the real thing in front of my eyes. And she just very demurely looked down and looked up and said, I've always wanted to be a mermaid. I've always been in love with fantasies. Um, always unicorns and fairies and pixies and mermaids. Trying to get it tight enough where it looks good, but not have her chest fall out of the top. No. I was totally helpless for being in that costume. Here we go. I had one leg, basically, and um, with two big flippers on both feet. Um, I had to be carried from one spot to another, especially when we went over on the rocks. <laughs> it's only a matter of time she uh, To the right a little. Right there. We moved her over onto a rock during the shoot. And as we did, the sprinklers in the background uh, were turned on. I mean, it, was, it wasn't something we did, it just happened. And they were backlit because the sun, of course, was behind her. So she had this wonderful halo of blonde hair uh, backlit by the sun, the water shimmering with highlights, and then off in the distant, rays of sunlight pouring through this mist being created by the spray. It was like amazing. When I first started shooting with David and the producer started to click, I had to create a whole new image. I mean, I had to, I had to be the mermaid. The costume helped a lot, but I mean, emotionally, I had to become one of the mermaids. Yes, right there, right there. It's a nice sheen yeah, off of that. Everything came together. I knocked off two rolls within like a minute and a half, two minutes. It was unbelievable. At the same time, I was thinking, wow, what if, what if we added, let's, let's add a little more flavor to it. Let's bring a Hawaiian into it. Let's bring uh, a male. I mean, he has, he has actually found her, and he's bringing her out of the water. Thomas is going to save you from the sea. Or are you going to save Thomas from the sea, yeah, one really, or the really. other? Really. Yeah. All right, Tom. When I was in Thomas's arms, I felt totally comfortable. Nice. Can you bring her up a little higher? I felt kind of sorry for him for having to pick me up and 
pick me up up and down because that costume was awfully heavy and once it, it got out. wet. How are you doing out there? You okay? I felt like he was just like a prince getting me out of the ocean and trying to maybe get me onto shore to save me. Shauna is approaching what's quoted as nowadays the supermodel look. Uh, she's got such a pretty, pretty face. Great swimsuit body, but boy, she's got a terrific face, great smile, and she's got a great intensity in her eyes. I like my smile. I think that my smile um, is one of my best qualities. Um, I'm not using it that much this shoot, you know. <laughs> I think that David is, uh, is really trying to tone down the bubbly, bubble gum shots, you know, he wants more sexy looks from me, which is actually pretty hard. You have 15 more minutes, <laughs> go away. <laughs> Early calls are the worst. They don't bring the best out of me. <laughs> That's the only thing bad about being on location, like being in this beautiful place uh, is the early call times, 4.30, you know, that means you're up by four, that's, that's, that's early. Now what? I don't know, now I get ready to go down to Rachel. <laughs> Stand by to watch the transition. <laughs> Like it's gonna hurt, but it really doesn't. I promise. We're gonna go over to a black sand beach that I know about. Very nice, and um, it's much blacker than this. It's the true black sand, which is looks basically like tiny little marbles, and it's a little bit. Yeah, it's it's really it's a it's a wonderful texture, and it actually catches this catches highlights. I wanted to go to this particular beach that I had heard about a few years ago from a friend of mine. He had told me about this black sand beach. The only way to get there was by water. Hey David, how you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Good. I'd like you to meet Shauna. Hi Shauna. Hi. Shannon. Hey, Shannon. We had the use of three Kawasaki jet ski watercraft. They were there on the beach waiting for us. Although all of us had ridden jet ski watercraft and had experience with them, my assistant, Rick Moore, actually rides a lot. He's a really good rider and he briefed us on safety precautions. That sort of thing. We had no idea what we were about to see, what we were driving to. You know, we were told to just get on these and head south. You know, we had no idea what. Um, what the setting for the next shot was going to be. We approached this beautiful black sand beach. You rarely see nobody on a beach, and there was literally nobody on this beach, and um, we knew that it was going to be all ours. Slide back. I, yep, know, right there. I felt that Shauna, at this point in time, was, was ready for Black Beach. She has such a, a great inner sexuality. I don't know if she's aware of it, which is good, because if she were, it may be too obvious. She likes to smile a lot, she likes to look away a lot, but I wanted to bring her back in. I wanted to focus her more. She was really relaxing for me and really feeling confident in herself, and I wanted to try to, to work that a little bit and make it happen on Black Beach. He really works with your best qualities, um, you know, your best angles, David, David nails them. Right shoulder right there. There was this, this white foam coming up on this black sand. It was just an incredible contrast between the red jet ski and, and, and Shauna's uh, incredible tan body. The black sand really creates a dramatic setting with, um, with my pretty much white hair and my skin and it really pops my eyes out. It makes me feel, you know, really dramatic looking rather than run-of-the-mill little blonde, you know. I really think that we got some great shots. 
as we were shooting, the sun, of course, started dropping. We, we needed to get out of there before it got dark, but I couldn't resist doing a sunset shot. We started uh, shooting some, some uh, sunset uh, footage of her standing in front of this beautiful sunset as the sun's starting to drop onto the horizon. A little tilt to the left for me, over. There, freeze. Head over this way. There, hold that, look. One more, chin left, shoulder at me a little bit. Nice, there. Just enough time to knock off about a roll, pack everything up, and then get out of there. If I got the cover of this issue, I would feel like my hard work was well worth it. It would be great professionally for obvious reasons, you know, seeing the cover of Sport Magazine and anybody's book is definitely going to further the chances for you to get that job. I've gotten some great pictures and I would be really, really happy. All I can do is hope and really try hard for the cover. I mean, I, I want it. <laughs> I want it bad. <laughs> I would describe my particular look as the California beach girl. <laughs> I enjoy walking around with no makeup and real simple hair and I almost feel like the more glamorous they try to make me appear, the less attractive I feel. Blonde hair, uh, tan, uh, all natural, uh, great natural smile. She can go from that that soft, pouty look to a breathtaking smile and a heartbeat. Ow! Okay, here we go. Little lift to the hip. I had a chance to shoot Shannon on a uh, structure here at the hotel that we affectionately call the Rope Bridge. And it was morning light coming through the palm trees, giving us spots of shadow and highlight that was just great to work with. And I just let Shannon move. Really stretch up, really tall, lean back. Straighten your arms, good. Both arms holding. Excellent. Tilted. Right there, hold the hair for me. Head way over like that. There, nice. Eyes at me, really stretch back. Toss your hair. Nice, that. Freeze it, nice. Excellent. Very pretty. You just came to life, the picture that happens. One more, right there, look at me. Arching your back, right there. Hold it right there, stay like that, arching. And foot up a little bit higher. There we go, now rotate just a touch right there, freeze. Push the hair right there, hold it. Okay, don't move. I'm gonna go in right, get that on film. Turn your body toward me, just keep turning a little bit, keep turning right there. I listened to his direction and basically when he's saying hold that, I know he sees something good on the other end. Very nice, very nice. I've been working with David now for, I guess this is my third year. Right there, chin up to the light. Nice. He yeah. is, I can honestly say, honestly say, he is one of my favorite photographers to work with. Oh, that's pretty right there. I like what he brings out of me in my pictures. When Shannon's in front of the camera, the picture just happens. Great. I think every year it's a pleasant surprise to be selected to come back here to shoot for the swimsuit issue. This is definitely one of my favorite shoots of the year. Every girl here would definitely love to get the cover of this issue. I would love to get it. I've never had it before. I know she's been considered every year as a cover model, but it hasn't happened yet. It would probably be just the ultimate exposure for me. I think that a couple of shots on, that, on the rope bridge might present themselves as cover possibilities. There were a couple of shots in there where we shot Shannon bending over the, the, the ropes and stretching up and looking really wonderful to camera. Hold it, right there, good, right there, nice. When uh, the people at Sport approached me uh, to do this again this year, they wanted it to be notches above. And I said, so I have freedom to do whatever I think is an amazing picture. And they said, whatever, whatever you can do that's safe. A couple days ago, David approached about, actually pr pretty much approached all the girls uh, about this koi fish shot. And um, somehow it narrowed down, down to me. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've fished a day in my life. We're going to have you appear as if you're floating in the middle of them on your back, right over here on the corner in the bright sun and the fish are hopefully going to come up around you. I'm thinking I can test this out for an hour. The color and everything with the fish and your suit, it should be a really wonderful picture. Intense. Intense. 
-hmm. It's just the feel of the fish around you. Okay. Hopefully they're not going to be flopping around or anything. Okay. Stay relaxed. Just think good uh, thoughts. As long as they don't bite. I need to meditate for a while. You will be one with the fish. Oh dear, maybe I should have done that mermaid shot. <laughs> First, we had to present a way to make her static where she didn't have to actually free float in the water. So we constructed a plexiglass stand for her to lay on. I need to do this to you, but can you lay on it for me? Yeah. First thing I asked was, can we test out the water and stick one of the assistants in there to make sure, you know, they don't attack like piranha or anything. And so they stuck Billy in there, and um, it wasn't too bad. Bask in the sun, Billy. Oh, yeah. It's about time we got a break. I feel safe. Okay, good. The after interview will be much more interesting, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, you want to see her on it first? Yeah. Once we had that in the water, it became invisible. She was on it. It was just then getting past the, the uh, mental anguish that Shannon was going through as far as what the fish were going to do to her once she was in the water. Ah. Just water. Just water. They're okay. They're okay. Nice. Oh my god, that was trippy. <laughs> 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 hang in, hang in, it's looking great. Curvy. <laughs> Once the fish became accustomed to Shannon being in the water, now's a few around her. Nice, let's get a few shots here. This looks nice. They started swimming through and around and everything else. Is just like I envisioned, it, was, it came to life. Got any nibbles yet, Shannon? Yeah, I've had a few uh, fish hickeys on my toes. Thank you very much. I'll show you later. But I think there's some nice pictures here. Excellent job, Shannon. Do we have a towel? For the <sighs> I'm done. Koi fish central. Koi fish yeah, honey toe. Oh, excellent. Yeah, we're having fish for lunch. Sushi. Sushi is what we're having. It wasn't as bad as I thought. A couple of little fish hickeys on my toes. But that's okay. <laughs> they actually like sucked right on my big toe there for a minute. But the fish weren't that bad. I survived. My look's probably more the exotic, the, the darker look of the girls. Rosie is probably one of the most beautiful black girls I've ever worked with. I mean, she's just stunning. When she walks into the room, you can't miss her. Great hair, great cheekbones, great eyes. Her body is so perfect. I grew up on this farm out in the middle of nowhere. I guess it was just television that made me want to become a model. I didn't know how I was going to get there. I just, I had this plan, but... It's, it's good that it worked out that way. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just getting breakfast right now. I was up way too late last night to be up this early. I didn't get to bed till like 2 o'clock, and then I had to get up really early. So believe me, the wake-up call was not a good one. I do feel lucky to be considered beautiful, but I think that it's not just um, beauty on the outside. I think beauty comes from within. And if you have a nice personality on the inside, make you seem even more attractive <laughs> than what you really are. So I'm sure you feel very safe with us, right? I'm uh, not quite sure yet. <laughs> I wanted to come up with this, with this gorgeous scenario for Rosie. And we wanted to shoot her at night. And to do that, we had to light it. But because we were shooting in a very moist environment. The main swimming pool here at the hotel comes into this grotto area. This grotto is this sort of underground uh, cave and it's very moist and damp down there. When I first got there, there was like wires and lights and people and, and everybody everywhere. Two eight flat at a 15. Do you want more? There's this blue waterfall and there's this orange light coming from behind the waterfall that I could see and that's where my shot was. Rosie, 
Get your shoulders wet. David explained where he wanted me to go, like in the pool, where he wanted me to stand. And he was going to um, take a Polaroid. What happened? Now? Did the Polaroid with you? That's why. Why did the white car? The shutter's not. I guess something was not right with the camera. So I was sitting there, and I was waiting, and I was waiting. And usually, Polaroids with David are really quick. My camera that I was using for my Polaroid test, I couldn't fire it. It just would not work. I went over and I spoke to Rosie. I explained to her what's going on. Her spirits are up. She's excited. She's ready. So now we just got to try to get the cameras to work. Basically, we've got moisture everywhere. It looks like a really damp, wet cave. And in reality, it's a really damp, wet cave. It feels like I'm swimming right now. All the electronics just love that. I have been up five o'clock this morning. Now, 11.30 p.m. We are all walking zombies at this point. See, here she is, and there's the head. It's gonna be kind of flying by the seat of my pants. I'm gonna be shooting the way I used to shoot 20 years ago. Hopefully, It'll, it'll work, you know? I've checked the lights with meters and the guys have done a great job setting up all the lights, so we'll see. We'll give it a shot, see what happens. David's actually the most favorite photographer that I've worked with. He's relaxed. I'm very comfortable with him and, and if you're doing something wrong or something's not quite right, he'll tell you in a way to where it's like, oh, you know, here I need you to do this and it's, it's not like awkward at all. Right there, please. Stretch your leg up for me. There we go. Curve. Perfect. Hold it. When the shot got going, I was feeling pretty good about it because uh, the lighting was looking really good and the suit I had on was super cool. It was like the same colors as the lighting behind me. It had a pink and blue and a little bit of purple in it and the lighting was catching that just right and my skin's kind of darker so the contrast was really nice. And we just went for it and she was there when I needed her. Right elbow relax. There we go. Once he got going, I mean, it was just like, it was like that. I was like, oh my gosh, we're done? It went very, very fast. And you know what? I think we may have gotten a picture there, even with all of the frustration. If I get the cover of the sports magazine, that'd be great because it's a lot of recognition and a lot of times people will recognize you from seeing a cover of a magazine because that's obviously the picture that is seen the most on the newsstand. I'd be very happy. described as exotic and I've also been described as wholesome. I see her as being the upscale sophisticate. She's the, the movie star hourglass figure girl, the uh, voluptuous, very sexy smolderer. She is our sort of sophisticated sexy lady. I think one's level of confidence while they're shooting can really make or break a shot. I, I'm a total believer in that. I think that if you have confidence in your inner self as far as, you know, what you're shooting and how you're looking in front of the camera, it's so important as far as to how that shot's going to come off in the end, if that's going to be a successful picture. Oh, nice ender, good! To land the cover of, of any campaign or job is just, it's, it's the epitome, I think, of why a lot of people get into this career. It, it basically makes or breaks your career, you know, once when someone lands a cover, um, that's basically like a resume for yourself. Gorgeous. When we were riding out to the beach where we were going to shoot her, she had these dark glasses on and hair blowing and everything. She looked like, she looked like a, a young Liz Taylor out there. Her body is so perfect that you don't have to really worry about like twisting or anything. It's just like, just, just hang on and just shoot. As I was approaching, I thought to myself, man, this is just going to be a beautiful shot. Because of the black sand and the crystal blue ocean and the white foam crashing up on the black sand, it just, the colors were amazing. Something you could probably only find in Hawaii. Yes, we've arrived. And then once I got suited up and, and in my position, 
I realized that, that perhaps it wasn't going to feel as beautiful as it was going to look because the elements were real rough. She looked gorgeous and the suit looked wonderful on her and, and everything. The, the waves were just uh, grueling. Alicia, kick your hip over to one side. What? It was very loud. The waves were very loud, so it was difficult to hear David. Right there, look down, look down. Look down, look down. Nice. Stay stretch. Beautiful. The rocks were basically slicing into my skin, and it didn't feel too good, but I knew it was going to be a great shot, so you really don't mind. From the, the waves breaking, it was like all that, that energy that it gives. Of course, it, you know, it, beat poor Alicia to death over there and she couldn't hear me, but at the same time when they hit her, the splashing and everything that it makes, makes for an incredible picture. I could tell that she was really getting beat to death over there and, and I, I thought, well, I can take it so far and, and, and you know try to get some more, but I've got some more things to shoot with it here, so I don't want her to get burned out. This is part of what uh, doing this stuff on location is all about because some of the, some of the uh, really choice prime locations are fairly remote and far removed and so this is like this is like one of those and it's a it's a little stretch of some black beach down here with uh, these trees that overhang it and um, it takes a hike to get here we're gonna put Alicia out here shoot a few shots and then maybe get her down to the water's edge here we go stay stretch for me pretty very nice we found a uh, beach that had like this uh, green vine-like foliage that grows along the beach that stretched right almost to the edge nice of the water. Time. And it was beautiful. So I put uh, Alicia in there. That was excellent. Let me have you kneeling right there, facing up the hill. Upper body toward me. Yeah, kind of stretch back for me a little bit. Hands will be into the hair. Yeah, let's get it. Let's change suits. Lean back a little more. Hands up to the hair. Nice. Little smile. That's it. Smooth the hair with the hands. Lean back, twist right there. Lean to the right a little bit more. Now give me your eyes. Shot some things in a vertical nice. position, but then I saw something happening when she would bend back. So I had her stretch back and look at me from that position. Chin back and head back there. Eyes closed for this one. Nice. A lot of times when you're shooting, you feel a little bit like a pretzel <laughs> or some sort of a contortionist. It made this incredible line along her stomach, um, and it was a wonderful position for her. Actually, all the blood was rushing to my head, but you know it's going to look good on film. Must spritz body. Must make body moist. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. We changed her into another suit, which was a kind of almost like a monokini or something. But it was this wild-looking suit that was um, uh, somewhat risque in a, in a way. But with her wearing it, it looked quite nice, actually. Upper body toward me. Chin down a little. We put her back lit against some black rocks, and the the sun edged her body, just etched it from the rocks. And I shot her full length with some really strong. Uh, poses toward camera, and, the, and in the distance, the waves were crashing against the rocks and everything. It was really, really a, a wonderful picture. Very nice. I got the water splashing back there. That's what I want. It's been absolutely beautiful. I don't think I've ever been to a more beautiful island, and it definitely helps with the photos. I've been in the studio and on location, and being in the middle of a beautiful environment, just I think it really helps the movement and the feel, and it really helps you get into the mood, it really does.
Dolores gave us the European look that we wanted here. Long, lean, nice angularity in her face, that kind of thing, but at the same time, a great mouth and great smile. He never talks. There's actually a guy behind this camera, but he'll never talk back to me because it spoils the whole illusion. Don't get this. <laughs> okay, mm. we're gonna go up the, up the steps. We're going up there. To shoot Dolores on the staircase today was a chance for me to play. We took her out of a natural element and put her in this unbelievable, huge structure. Turn your hips a little bit for me. I have rotate them a little bit, not quite so straight to camera. All this light playing through different holes in the roof and all this kind of stuff. Ooh, nice, right there, right there. Letting the shadows sort of play right off there. of her and doing a lot of things that were more graphic than I normally get to do. Right there, please. Rotate just right there. Nice. Tell All I had to do was just put a pointer in the right direction and let her go for it. I didn't have to tell her where to turn, what to do, jump, move, laugh, whatever. She just did it. I can shoot down on her. Okay. Like short and pudgy? Get that? Me. Big concern, looking short and pudgy. I'm not going to look short and pudgy. They won't tell me if I'm going to look short and pudgy. Go ahead and step. Go ahead and come up the stairs. Sometimes when he's asking me to do things that I just don't see how that's going to work, I'll put my trust in him anyways that he won't shoot me and make me look hideous. <laughs> you really have to give that over to the photographer. Okay, Bill, can you move to your right? Just a little, right there. To have my picture on the cover. Seeing it on the newsstand shelf, that's, that's nice for me. That's for my ego. Today's makeup call at 4.30 was just peachy. I mean, I live for it. Um, <laughs> I really like my job. And to get me up that early means a lot. I must really like what I'm doing. I love the creative process that the makeup artist goes through. It's great to hand yourself over to someone and see how they imagine you and how they're going to make you. And I love the pampering. To have your hair brushed and makeup done, and you know, it's, it's wonderful. So you guys are never going to say anything? <laughs> it's kind of unnerving, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling really obliged to talk silence. right now. <laughs> Bill, can you put the uh, shiny board back down there? That little okay. black opening? I like this spot in particular because I love the light, the way it's striking here. The palm trees at the edge of the water, the water's an intense blue, and it'll be a nice contrast with the girls' skin tones against the blue and then the warm light on them. It's gonna be gorgeous. Eyes here. Go down the hill for me. Right there. Very pretty. Exactly, a lot of that movement. Give me some wind. A wind god. Very pretty. Very nice. Danielle, this girl is an, if there's any a natural born athlete, uh, she is it. Her body is just a natural projection of what's inside. I love to have fun. I, um, I'm not the type of person that can sit around and be patient. I have to always be doing something and it's usually something active. That's what I bring into the shoot. A lot of fun, I hope. At least for myself anyway. I feel lucky to be considered beautiful. Although I don't place much emphasis on it, if I wasn't beautiful, it wouldn't matter to me because I'm in school, I'd still have my brain, and being a good person on the inside counts more than being beautiful on the outside. I think the shots will turn out great. David's a great photographer, and Michelle Vanderhill's a great makeup artist, so and they, they never let me look bad. They won't shoot it if I look bad. Here we go. Do that tilt right there. Nice. Do that, like that. Your chin is up. Lean out a little bit. Right there, now look chin up into the light. Sometimes when I'm doing a certain shoot, it's, it can get really uncomfortable because you, you're in a position like when I was on that tree 
it was a really, really curvy tree, and I was all contorted, and I uh, thought, there's no way this could actually look good, but then when I saw the Polaroid that David took, it really looked very, very sensual. See me if you can, twist your body. Lots of curve. Eyes at me. Try to see me there, right there. I had her leg extended down into the sand, and you could see this this unbelievable line of her muscles and everything. It almost looked the same uh, as the, the wood that she was on. Very nice. Keep that up. Give me a little more stretch, a little more twist to the body, yeah. Then he had me lay back on the rocks in the water, which I think will turn out really pretty. Right hand up, chin up, hands on your head. It was really uncomfortable. I was laying on these tiny little clam shells that were stuck to the rock and then waves would come and bash me in the head every few minutes. But I knew we were getting some good stuff. The waves crashing gave it a, a, lot of, a lot of strength and energy, and I liked that. The problem was, though, because of the waves, it kept coming in and it like soaked my, my one camera. And then, of course, as you notice, as Danielle was laying there, she got kind of like soaked a couple of times as well. Sit up, sit up. But in between all of that, we got some wonderful stuff. It would be a thrill to get the cover. It would just be a rush, absolute rush. This morning when I got up and uh, was getting ready to do the dolphin shoot, I was so excited that I couldn't hardly sit still when Michelle was putting the makeup on me. I just couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to meet the dolphins. This is what you say when you yep, see a good looking guy. Mm, I can stop him up with a biscuit. <laughs> Well, today I think is one of our more exciting days on the trip. We're going to be allowed to photograph one of the models with the dolphins here at Dolphin Quest. And uh, Jeff has been so kind to allow me to use his housing. We're setting my camera up for it now, getting it acquainted with the housing, talking to it, petting it, all those things that make the camera happy. We're going to actually submerge the camera probably half under and half above the water. I'm just excited that I was the model picked to do this shot. I feel really fortunate. Come on out here and we will get a chance to meet Hobie. You saw that we have babies. You see the babies? Hobie is the one that caused all that. He got all the girls pregnant. They would tell me what the dolphin was going to do beforehand, so I would know where to stand and what to expect. You know, I was afraid it was going to feel like a snake or slimy or something, but it feels like, like a wet inner tube, really smooth. And he told me that they liked it best if you touched them really soft and you didn't scratch them, I guess because their skin's so smooth. <laughs> the, the dolphins would swim right by me. They touched me a couple of times while I was in the water shooting. And it was kind of scary at first because I didn't know what was, what was that. And, and then I'd look over and the, the, the dolphin actually looked up at me when it went by. And I'm like, whoa, is this wild? This one time, the dolphin was standing on his tail with half of his body out of the water beside me. And I couldn't look at him, he was a little behind me. And um, he splashed down right in front of my face and it scared me. I was like, oh my God, he's attacking me. I'm like underwater and I'm seeing him and her legs and it's like, it's bizarre. And I'm just clicking away. That's one of the few times I've actually lost it as a photographer. I didn't think about exposure, I didn't think about anything else other than the fact that I was watching this most surreal, incredible event in, in, in front of me. And I ran the film out and it was empty. And I was still pulling the trigger. I wanted more, I wanted more film. This is amazing. I mean, oh, this is tight. One day I'm at a volcano, the next day I'm swimming with dolphins. Very nice trip. <laughs> okay, now you're going to get real close. When I kissed the dolphin, I was afraid that he was going to bite me because they have, I think they have about 80 teeth. The only time they use their teeth is when they're mating, they bite each other. So I hoped he didn't get confused. There you go. That's about. All right, very good. That was awesome. I'll probably never get to do that again. That was a once in a lifetime experience. When we got back from Hawaii, we had over 9,000 images, 9,127 to be exact. I can edit a typical football game in 15 minutes, but the swimsuit material, seemed to take me about three weeks to edit. The process involved uh, a number of different people who were assembled together, uh, Eden and Tony from the art department, Cam and Steve, myself representing the editorial, and then uh, of course David Meese, the photographer. So many great shots. Everybody was unanimous on the fact it would be a great issue. Now we've uh, 
We've narrowed it down. Tony, what do we have? Yeah, we've got about uh, five shots spread out here that we went ahead and made some test color separations on. We are looking for the one shot that sets it apart from the rest of the field, the one shot that stands alone. I think our selection should come down to these last two. They both have really good impact. They're very strong, they're very striking. From my standpoint, this is the best cover because there's a lot of contrast between the suit and the background. The whole dynamics of it, the color and everything, the eye contact is mm -hmm. just really jumping off the page, almost it's yeah. sort of the kind of thing that catches you out of the corner of your eye. Mm -hmm. This one's going to jump out. Oh, Steve, yeah. Steve, you think that one? Yeah. yeah. And well, this was from our first day. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, that, that was actually typical. one of the first shoots we did. I like it. Eden? Yeah, I think Shauna's one. That's okay. a one, definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. Strong. Very strong. She's our winner. It was hard work, six months around the clock. But now we got the best issue ever. And you know what? I can't wait to do it again next year.